All right, so I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I want to experiment with different punch sizes on quarter coin rings. I usually use a half inch punch, and I've got quite a few different punch sizes. So I'm just going to I'm going to try a, a variety of them and see how they come out. These are the ones I have on the smaller end. We've got a quarter inch, five sixteenths, and a three eighths. I'm not sure if these two would actually make rings because they're so small, but I'm gonna try them anyways and uh, just for the sake of experimentation. So we're gonna punch a couple holes to start with and just work our way up. That's why we've got a whole stack of uh, Virginia quarters here. So if you want to follow me along on this experiment, you're welcome to watch. Uh, if you're interested in getting a coin ring, I do have a link on my profile that you can shop through. But today we are experimenting. Like I said, we're going to start with the smallest one. This is a quarter inch punch. It's pretty tiny. How tiny? That tiny. Let's see, where is my bowl? And if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I like chatting with you guys. And usually I'm working on orders, but today I'm doing some experimentation. So that's going to make a pretty wide ring if I'm able to get it that far without splitting it. But it does save a lot of detail on there, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go up to the next size and see how that comes out. This one's going to be a 5 16 got zero likes on this live i know this isn't my usual thing but if you're enjoying this live please go ahead and tap the screen a couple times so this one is one sixteenth of an inch larger appreciate it thank you thank you thank you a little comparison of these two still looks a little too small to make a ring out of i'm afraid these are both going to split but just for the sake of experimentation i'd rather know you know than just guess so this one's going to be three eighths And I'm, ho I'm hoping I'll be able to actually make all of these into rings on this whole line. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I want to go all the way to a point where it's basically just the reeded edge as a ring, because I think that would be really cool too. There's lots of, there's lots of possibilities as far as like look that I can do based on the punch size. And this is an experiment I haven't really run before. Like I have done some different punch sizes in quarters, but I've never done a whole bunch at the same time to really see the difference. So I don't know, I think this is pretty exciting. And I'm almost certain I can get this one to a ring. That's got a lot of nice detail on there. It would be a nice thick ring, but it wouldn't be you know, too overpowering, too wide. Should be interesting. So let's see, what's after three eighths? Uh, probably four eighths, which is a half inch. 
which is what I usually do. So I'm not going to do that one. I know what that one looks like. But we'll go up to the next one, which is 7 sixteenths. Which I think is actually smaller than a half. Because 8 sixteenths would be a half inch. Got to get your math right. Uh, if anybody out there watching um, is like, what the heck is going on here? Uh, you've never seen me before. I'm a coin ring maker. I make coins into rings. I've been doing this for about three years now. Uh, I've got a lot of different types of coin rings I make. If you want to check them out, there is like a little gold link uh, down by the chat you can tap on. That'll pull up some of my products. Uh, if you need to reach out to me, uh, there is a get a quote button on my profile. You can just ask me a question through that, or you can ask here in the chat. I don't have a phone number for this business, but I do have an email address. You can email me at info at coinringmaker.com. Or you can just ask what you want to know here. So that's the 7 sixteenths. License my ring. I'm not sure what you mean. Love. Okay, that makes more sense. I was a little confused. Well, I'm glad you love it. I think this is definitely going to be an option. I, I should definitely be able to get this one into a ring. So we'll go up to the next size now. That's going to be 9 sixteenths. That's a pretty good size punch. My coffee's kicking in and getting a little jittery. I need to calm down. But I also want to say thank you guys for watching. I know this isn't the usual TikTok thing, but I kind of, you know, dance to the tune of my own drum. And I, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. That's a pretty cool center punch, I gotta say. You got pretty much two whole ships in there. That's pretty cool. I am regretting how much I'm going to have to deburr these. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, I've, I've basically got a flood of bot followers. Like, it started as a couple hundred, and it's persisted for, like, the last three days. <laughs> and and I've, I've basically got, like, 10,000 bot followers. So I don't know if somebody like paid for bot followers or if I'm just like on a list of accounts to follow for bots I don't know that's pretty good though it's right above the date and you still get everything here I like that that's not a bad looking band that's cool and that one is the uh... yeah I currently offer the center punch as keychains and pins like you can put on your hat or your shirt or you can just get the center punch uh, as is and you can alter it yourself all right next one this one was nine sixteenths what would be ten sixteenths five eighths five eighths Pretty, pretty healthy sized punch right here. So we should be getting pretty close to the edge with it. Very nice center punch. Our 
band is definitely getting thinner. It didn't quite cut this date, but it did cut the date at the top. But we've still got Virginia up there. So basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm punching different size holes in these quarters to see how they look as rings with like different uh, thicknesses of bands. I've, I've kind of tinkered with some of these punches before, but I've never done all of them together so I could compare them side by side. And uh, that's, that's what I'm doing today. So we've got another one here that's really tiny. No, it's not illegal. Uh, it's very similar to um, like a penny smashing machine you might find at SeaWorld. So we've got maybe one more size up we can go. 11 sixteenths. Now this punch is so big, I actually have to feed it into the top here. Yeah, I'm sure it's not illegal. I have a blog post about it on my website if you want to you wanna go check it out. You'd need to go to coinringmaker.com. There's a button at the top. Uh, at the least, <laughs> it's unhealthy. Actually, uh, silver... Uh, is is antibacterial, uh, which is pretty cool. So it actually helps you uh, keep clean. How you doing this morning, Chris? That goes all the way through the bottom. And it looks like not the best punch ever. Kind of squished it a little. if it went off center it did that's the first punch i've ever got off center in my jason's work center punch making platinum britannia Woo! i thought my gold ring was fancy but damn dude platinum congratulations we're gonna try this one again and i'm gonna hold the punch so it's not resting on the coin as I tighten this down. Gold is way fancier than platinum. Damaging coins and bills is illegal. I'm pretty sure giving out unsolicited legal advice is illegal. You know, like, like, are you a lawyer? Like, have you, have you actually looked into the laws? Because I've been doing this for like three years. So I've, I've taken a lot of time to look into the laws around doing what I do. I would just be careful, you know, giving legal advice on the internet. When you may not know what you're talking about. Looks like this one went a little slanted too. I think the angle of the punch... Slides the coin over a little bit. Wouldn't make an interesting ring, though. An uneven band. No, it's not illegal, guys. Don't you worry. Maybe the coin... Hmm. I'm going to try one more time. Done that too many times. I haven't used this punch size very much. I'm probably making quite a few. So what I'm doing today is I'm experimenting with different punch sizes on quarters to see uh, like how the band looks and how big I can get that specific ring with that punch size. So here we've got six. I'm trying to get a seventh one, but it's... Uh, it's going off center. So that might be might be too far for it. But we'll definitely be working on at least six. Let's check here. See it looks centered. Maybe I gotta make sure this is nice and tight. Use my press. Yeah. 
Yeah. Google is free. Make sure, yep, it's coming loose a little, so we'll tighten it back down after every hit. Looks a little better. Still getting this weird chipping. I may have to lube up this punch, honestly. <laughs> Wait, Google is free? Well, it's centered enough for being off-center, right? That would make an interesting ring. You get the date. It's funny. All right, I'm going to try one more bigger, see if that'll stay centered, and then we'll actually start making these into rings. I do have one bigger punch. I do have a hydraulic press, so I, I might try that later i've got a, a stamp attached to it so i'd have to un <laughs> unattach it yeah i'm gonna try that later have you ever seen a penny smashing machine at like a museum theme park national park sea world uh, where else do they have them? They're all over the place. What guitar pick you pick up recently? Uh, I haven't picked up a guitar pick recently. I did get some new strings, though. I actually did my first gold coin, uh, ring last week. So I do have one available on the website if you're interested. Uh... It was pretty nerve-wracking, but it came out very nice. It's very pretty. Now, if you go back a couple videos of my profile, you can see it. Probably like six or seven down. Yeah, hydraulic press might be the way to go with... Uh... Yeah, really, with the weight. These bigger punches. Or maybe a brass punch. That one didn't get that that slipping right there. That that actually looks really nice. And it does look center too. That's exciting. And it's not quite perfect. But it's not bad. There we go. Well, if you guys are enjoying this live so far, uh, don't forget to tap that follow button and check out my website. It's pretty cool. Lots of cool stuff on there. I got to do a little bit of promoting here. And Every once in a while, you know, uh, we've got a Memorial Day sale going all month. 90% uh, silver half dollar coin rings are $25 off. All of them, Franklin's, Kennedy's, Walking Liberties. That's actually what I've been wearing recently. This is a Walking Liberty 90% silver half dollar. They make very nice and comfortable rings. Tons of detail. So if you're interested in getting one, now's a good time to do it. Because they're $25 off all month long. I'm just putting these punches away so I don't lose them. And now we're going to deburr forever. Who's excited about deburring? Woot woot. Let's see here. These are all our off center, two big ones. Set those aside. I mean, since you asked nicely, like, I'll show you. It's pretty. Unfortunately, I don't nicely. Like, I'll show you. It's pretty. Unfortunately, I don't have the ring anymore. That's on its way to its new owner. But this is a quarter ounce gold American Eagle. And go up to size 7. 
And it's real gold. You can get a real gold coin ring if you want. Personally, I like the silver a little bit better. Alright, so after punching holes in these, the inside edge is pretty sharp. So I use a tool called the burring tool to clean that up. And we're just going to start with the smallest one here. You want to make sure to do both sides. Get it nice and smooth in there. That's going to reduce the chance of it splitting as we start stretching it out. No, it's not illegal. Uh, it is illegal to fraudulently alter currency as well as counterfeit currency, but making jewelry out of coins is not illegal. I've done a lot of research. I've consulted with lawyers about it. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to run this business for three years if it was. So don't worry. I do appreciate you uh, trying to look out for me, but don't worry. It's all good. Thank you for the roses. So we got over a thousand people in here. Uh, if y'all have a free minute later today, check out the website. It helps a lot uh, if I get visitors on there. Uh, so the link's on my profile. Y'all could just go tap on it and hang out for, I don't know, 30 seconds help me rank on google that'd be really cool and you might find something you want to get oh when people misquote the law that's the best it's the best because they know the law but they just they just don't include all the words that are in it blows my mind It blows my mind. Uh, so regular copper quarters are $20. 90% silver quarters are 100 And I've got those in all 50 states. Now with copper jewelry, it can turn your fingers green. So you can put a little clear fingernail polish on there every once in a while. And that will reduce that effect. But if you're really worried about it, I would suggest getting a 90% silver. Uh, coin ring you can see here that doesn't leave any coloration on your finger and they're actually really easy to clean up you get a polishing cloth and they're they're very nice it's also a really hard metal because it's like 90 percent it's it's it makes very good rings and i've got uh quarters half dollars dollars uh fine silver rounds there's lots of different types of rings that i make so if you're interested in that uh, you can check out some of my products by tapping the little gold chain by the chat. If you can see that, let me know. Anybody see that little gold chain? No, it's not illegal. Very common misconception. So this is called a deburring tool. I'm sorry, I saw that question. Uh, it's called a deburring tool. It's usually used by uh, plumbers for cleaning up like sharp bits on pipe, but a lot of people use it for different things. I've seen recently that people who 3D print use it to clean up kind of corners and edges on their prints to make them smoother. And I use it to clean up the inside of coin rings. Uh, it's, it's a pretty great tool. Nice, the link worked. That's good to hear, guys. Thank you for checking. Yeah, that's one thing I can't really do on my end. So I appreciate you checking that out for me. And uh, since we got like over a thousand people in here, I'm going to go ahead and drop a coupon code. You guys can use the coupon code WELCOME, just the word WELCOME. That'll save you 10% off anything shop-wide. Uh, these are all handmade in the United States, uh, made with real coins. Uh, it's pretty cool, and you'd be supporting a small business. So if you're interested in that, go check out the store. It's linked on my profile. We are making these quarters into rings. 
Okay, I just got one more to clean up after this, and then we'll actually start folding these and stuff. Anybody keep in count of how many people said it's illegal? I'm at like 10. Yeah, that gold eagle was, was a very nice ring. I had to hang on to it for a couple days, I'm not going to lie. But I finally sent it off after I got it really nice and polished. So it's gone. It's going off to, to Pog Champ. He's a good dude. There we go. So with copper, most of the time, I don't have to anneal it too much. But with some of these smaller punch sizes, I'm going to go ahead and anneal these four. These two should be fine. Ruining history. So if you're looking for your, uh, how to get your ring size correct, I would suggest visiting a jewelry store and getting size there. It shouldn't take very long and it shouldn't cost you anything and it's going to be accurate. So that's, that's what I recommend. Yeah, the, the key word's fraudulently altering. So if I was to take pennies, like pennies, and make them look like dimes and try and spend them, that would be fraud. Uh, but turning coins into rings and then selling them as rings is not illegal. There's no fraud here. Uh, when you order from me, you know you're getting coin jewelry. Uh, it's literally my name, Coin Ring Maker. So there's no fraud, there's no deception. That's that's a the big distinguishing word in the law that a lot of people miss. Just going to dry these off real quick. No, I don't know anything about uh, a double-tailed uh, quarter. Uh, it could be a magic coin, like an altered coin for, for a magic act. Um, but that's that's the most I know about them. And they're usually... They usually have two head sides. So here's our different size punched quarters. Looks like it's made of silver. What's the year on it, bud? Is it 64 or earlier? Is, then it probably would be silver. And we're just going to start folding these and hope they don't split. 65? Yep, that's right on the edge. That's going to be copper. That's my least favorite quarter. 65. That's when everything changed. 64? Oh, then it is silver. 90%. And it's got two tails. That's interesting. Yeah, dude, make a video of it and tag me, and I'll check it out. That sounds that sounds interesting. Like if it's real, <laughs> that could be uh that could be a really cool coin. Yeah, it could be a magician's coin. Nice, nice. I'll check that out after I get off the live here. Usually double-sided coins are a magician coins. Uh, for, like, a coin to be struck with, with double tail sides, 
it usually has to be double struck, which means it's it's been sent through the machine twice. So you would have parts of the head and tails on both sides. And master mechanics can make them where you find a sim. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not wrong. And even in that case, it's a pretty cool coin. Well, I'm glad it's relaxing. I'm glad you're enjoying the live. Uh, if you wouldn't mind tapping the screen for me while you're while you're chilling out, that'd be great. This is the biggest one. I'm not even sure this ball will fold it. Oh yeah, very nice. All right, so now we've got a bunch of little cones here. Set these up in order. And the bigger it gets, the more kind of round shaped it gets, but that's not really a problem. And there is our smallest one. That's gonna make the widest band, and it's gonna be the one most likely to stretch. I usually make them into keychains. Uh, it's an option when you order a coin ring to add the center punch as a keychain. Let's see. I think with these bigger ones, we should be able to just straight fold them with a 17 degree die. So we'll do that. That is it. Not too many dies. Let's see here. See, when you quote the law, you need to not keep important words out of it. See how you start with anyone who, and then you start quoting, you, you've, you've skipped a very important word. That word is fraudulent. Or fraudulently, could be. One of the two. You gotta read the whole law. Language is very important when dealing with legal matters. You want to make sure you read every word in that law and understand how it impacts all the other words in the law. Have you ever used a penny spurs machine? Right, right? They're only all over the country. Been around for, you know, 30 years. I like these skinny bands. These are... These are kind of nice. I'm, I'm liking these two. I mean, good for you for finding the right law, but <laughs> you gotta read it. Uh, so the ring I got on my thumb, I got this at Knott's Berry Farms uh, in like 2007. And it was just a guy who was, like, walking around the park selling uh, rings that he'd made. This is way before I thought I'd ever be interested in making jewelry. But uh, I've, I've worn it for such a long time. Look at the shape of this thing. It's basically molded to, like, my thumb. I've rubbed the inside completely smooth. This is an old ring. And there's definitely like wear and tear on it. See, it's chipped up here, but I still like it. I'd like to make one like it. First time here, do you do custom coins? Yes, if you'd like me to work on like your coin, I have a button on my profile that says get a quote. Just go there, tell me as much as you can about the coin and the ring size you need, and I can get back to you. That's the best way to do that. Yeah, I'm doing different rings with different punch sizes. You've inspired me, Mr. Rush. So we've got a bunch of quarters here with different punch sizes to see how the bands look. So thanks for that.
<laughs> you gave me something to do today. Hey, we got 10,000 likes. Thank you guys very much. The law says that penny smashing machines are illegal? Really? Gosh, somebody should tell SeaWorld. They're gonna be in big trouble. Somebody somebody should tell Yellowstone National Park. They're oh man. The Secret Service is gonna gonna be so upset when they find out that these penny smashing machines are countrywide. And they've been in use for thirty years. Mostly by children. Shocking. You guys want to know uh, where the first penny smashing machine was? It's at the World's Fair. Like a hundred years ago. They used dollars in that thing. It was a huge press. Gigantic. You throw a whole dollar coin in that thing and get it smashed out. It's pretty cool. This is not focusing very well. It's a chunky boy. It's going to be hard to stretch out. And this is the final one. I haven't worked on pesos, but I have done a Libertad. And those are available on my website right now if you'd like to get one. Uh, I try to stick with uh, three basic metal types. There's a lot of different types of uh, metal used when making coins. And I try to stick with uh, copper clad, 90% silver or fine silver. It's because some alloys and coins might um, aggravate some people's skin. So yeah, I do use uh, clad quarters, but I am very clear that they are copper. I have a disclaimer on the product description that says it can turn your fingers green. Uh, if you're worried about that, I do offer 90% silver as well, but uh, some people don't mind wearing copper jewelry, and I've had a lot of people ask for it specifically, so I do offer it. Uh, quarters go up to size 13. If you need something bigger than that, I would suggest like a half dollar. That's what I'm wearing here. This is a Walking Liberty half dollar. I can get them up to about 16. Uh, if you'd like a wider band, I can do uh, larger coins as well. See, you're skipping words in the law again. It, it's gotta be like, like the third or fourth word in the law. It says fraudulently. People who misquote the law on my life are the best. We've had like three. It's the best. Just out here trying to make jewelry for entertainment, experimenting. People telling me I'm breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law, brown, brown, breaking the law, breaking the law. Nah, totally legal. I've, I've done my research. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all good. So, so far no splits. A big old wide band. I think this might, might be too far. <laughs> hey, we got some more people quoting the law. Anybody out there an actual lawyer? Do we have any real lawyers in the chat? That would be great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and line these up so we can get a look at them before I go any further. start looking a little clumpy on this end. 
but I think I could still get them to at least maybe like a size 4. And this one I could probably get to like a size 15. But let's find out. So next step is to just sand these cut edges a bunch. So this edge right here, you can see it's a little roughed up, a little stretched out. We're going to try and get that nice and smooth. So when we do start stretching it against it, it won't split. Yeah, there you go. Penny smashing machines. Yeah, I'm making enough money to cover the coin cost. Uh, this is just a copper clad quarter, but I also offer 90% silver and fine silver coin rings. There's no difference when the machines have a penny. Press it for a souvenir. Yeah. Very similar legally. Yeah, a uh, size 11 for a half dollar would be very good. Let me see. Uh, so this one's pretty close to uh, size 11. And I'm actually wearing a half dollar right here too. And you could get um, like a Kennedy half dollar. This is one with the tail side out. It's pretty nice. It's got stars all the way around it. And I had one with the head side out. That's MIA. There we go. So, very shiny. 1964, you get In God We Trust right over the date. Liberty on the other side. So it's kind of reversible. Like you can have Liberty facing out, or you can have the year facing out. It looks good both ways. It's a very nice ring. I like the half dollars a lot. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking, but I, I wanted to do a little experimentation with it first and, and really see, like, the size range I can get with the different bands. But, yeah, this is definitely something that I'm going to keep working on because I want you guys to have more options. I know some people would like uh, thicker rings and thinner rings, so it's going to take quite a bit of work to do it for every type of coin, but... I'm going to start with the state quarters, because that's, that's the most common uh, coin ring. And again, y'all check out the website. Uh, if you like my work, go get you something. Or get something for uh, a friend or a loved one. They make really nice gifts. Thank you, thank you. 12,000, almost 13,000 likes on this live. This live's gone pretty well. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I somehow already lost one. Anybody see where it went? <laughs> it was one of the skinnier ones. I think I lost the... Uh, the one just above this one. So we'll keep them where you guys can see them in case they wander off. Yeah, the Alaska quarter rings come out really nice. They're cool. Uh, Canada has some interesting laws about altering their currency. So I, I don't mess with Canadian coins too much unless the coin itself is no longer in circulation. So right now, the only Canadian coins I work on are the large cents, but they make really very, very pretty uh, rings. Let me see if I can find one. Because they're super cool. It's one of my newer things that I've added to the store. Where have they gone? There they are. So this um, kind of ivy design goes around the whole ring, and it looks very nice. It's very cool. Let's see if I can find where that ring ran 
off too. Shameful. Ah. It was on the ground. That's a good place for it, right? I mean, I've got to, I've got to keep myself out of trouble, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to break the law. I'm just trying to make cool jewelry. So let's see. With these wider ones, they're not going to fit on my usual ring stretcher. And since these are just going to be easier to even out, we'll start stretching those and then go to the more difficult stuff. So if you send me the coin, it costs exactly the same as the price on my website. Uh, custom coin rings take quite a bit more of uh, personal attention. So for that reason, I just charge the same price. It's a lot easier for me to work with a coin I have on hand. And uh, I do have a lot to choose from. But if you do want to do a custom coin, it would cost the same as if you ordered it on my website, depending on what kind of coin it is. If that makes sense. So this thing's called a ring stretcher. This is just going to help us stretch these rings out a little bit. And I put some blue paper towel in between the ring and the stretcher. So I don't have metal on metal contact. And it also helps keep the details on the inside of the ring nice and crisp and defined instead of flatten them out. So, so far that's looking pretty cool. Let's stretch out the next one. Just go in like this. And sorry if I'm missing any questions at the moment. I could not look at the screen while I do this. So if anybody sees a question and can answer it, go ahead and answer it. That's that's cool with me. I don't mind. Get a little more paper towel here. And finish this one up. For this experiment, I think I'm just going to try and get these to like a basic size 9. There, that one is too small to even fit on this stretcher. So we're going to have to go to the other stretcher. But uh, let's take a look at these two that we did. I really like this one, this band size, because you get a lot of it's like right over the dates so there's a lot of information on here for being a very thin band and this is one size smaller you can see it actually cuts into that date and that one but it makes a lot more focus on the the state itself and that looks pretty cute too i don't know i kind of i like both of these these both look nice <laughs> yes, um, that's a process called annealing, and I have done that on these ones with the smaller punches I used. You can see it's got fire scale on it. Uh, with these ones with the larger punch, I didn't have to stretch them very much, so I didn't anneal them. That's going to save me on some cleanup, basically. Now we're going to hop over here to my other ring stretcher. This is my fancy ring stretcher. And this one is uh, much smaller on the top than the other one. So I'm trying to get a good look here, but it's a little tighter at the top. So we're able to fit some of these on here. And I'll we'll just stretch them out. It's not bolted down. 
it should be. Yeah, that 421 is pretty tight. Thank you. Yeah, we're making rings. So I got that one stretched out enough to throw on this other stretcher. I'll just finish it up over here real quick. Because that other one's bolted down, I have a little more leverage with it. But if the hole's too small, I can't get it to fit, so... I like to start on this one and move over to that one. The unicorn and the lion, I think, are, like, the ones I like the most at the moment. I think that would make a killer ring. I almost made it yesterday. But I want to wait for a customer so I can make sure I get the sizing right. Well, we want to make sure we're not getting any splits. I can start seeing some some artifacts on here. So let's hand this one out. And we'll re anneal it as well. Make it a little softer. Finished products. Uh, here's an example of what I have on sale at the moment. All my 90% silver half dollar rings. Sorry, my camera's jiggling. Are $25 off. This one is a Walking Liberty half dollar from 1941. I've got quite a few years available for this one. Get nice detail on the inside and out. And they're very comfortable. So I make everything. Uh, nice enough for me to wear. Like, if I wouldn't wear it, I wouldn't sell it. So your ring is going to be comfortable, and it's going to look good. And if your size is accurate, it will uh, fit. If there's another type of coin ring you'd like to see, let me know. Explain why I don't heat it up when stretching. So I heat it up beforehand, and we're actually going to heat these up again here in a second. And I'll show you that whole process. Uh, working with hot metal is just, it's just really extra. Unless you're like blacksmithing, uh, you can anneal copper and quench it, uh, cool it off in water and it stays soft. Yeah, go to the website guys. Use the coupon code welcome, save 10%. Shop the Memorial Day sale on all 90% silver half dollar coin rings. Get you something cool. The website is linked on my profile. It's also my username. You can also check out my products by tapping the gold chain link down here by the chat. Uh, there's also a little shopping bag on my profile. No, you're good. I know a lot of people don't shop on TikTok, and I've got, I've got a lot of ways to shop on my profile, so... We'll, we'll get you there. Uh, you can also go straight to the store by typing in buycoinrings.com in your browser. Awesome, awesome. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. These three we're going to re-anneal. So we're going to heat them up with this torch until the uh, fire turns kind of an orange color and then we'll quench them in the water here. I guess my goal with these rings is to try and get them all to the same size. So maybe like size 9 might be a good good goal size nice medium range
I mean, I, I keep a lot of stuff that I make. But most of it goes to customers. I had a real hard time letting go of the gold coin ring I made. It was very pretty. But it's in good hands, so I'm not too worried about it. Fourteen thousand eight hundred likes on this live. Going very nicely. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna have to hop back on in just a second.